We now go to Kara Bracken, who continues our team coverage tonight. She is hearing from neighbors of the family where that shooting took place. Kara? Well, hey, neighbors tell me that the shooter suspect didn't just shoot anyone, but shot her parents. Now, we're told that in this home behind me that you're seeing that the shooter suspect used to live there, but only in the recent months had moved out. There was already um, volatility and, and bad vibes going with within the family. Neighbors say her mom, dad, brother, and his wife all lived in the home. They tell us the same thing. There were conflicting views of gender expression within the family. The shooting happening about seven miles from where Bailey was apprehended. A lot of the residents are, are nervous. They're a little bit frightened. They're scared, um, rightfully so. Now, police on scene tell us the medical examiner was here last night. Now they're working on gathering more information from inside the home. Now you're going to recognize that there is still an active scene here behind us, and it's been like this throughout the morning. I'll go ahead and send it back to you guys inside. Okay, Br Kara Bracken live for us this evening. Kara, thank you. This is a developing story, as you can see here. We will continue to break you, uh, bring in breaking news about it on the KSL Plus app and right here on air.